Cynthia, because we will be standing by and have these wonderful panelists here answer some of your questions. We mentioned before uh, the hashtag, if you're on Twitter, if you want to engage with us, the hashtag is GMSDC2014. So send us your questions right away and we will get to them. So I'm going to turn now to Vanessa. How did GMSDC become the state of Georgia's supplier diversity champion? I understand the council has quite a history. Well, yes, Rachel, we certainly do. As a matter of fact, the council will celebrate its 40th anniversary next year. It all started when a group of Georgia companies, including our sponsor today, Cox Enterprises, saw value in diversifying the vendors and suppliers they were dealing with. That type of forward-thinking leadership and innovation led to what is known today as the premier resource for supplier diversity and best practices. The GMSDC serves over 400 corporate members and nearly 700 minority business enterprises. There are councils across the country, but consistently the GMSDC is one of the best. Great reputation. Thank you so much. I have no idea the council had that kind of influence. <laughs> so Sylvia, I understand that you lead the MBIC, which is the voice of really the small business community at the GMSDC. How does that group fit into the overall fabric of the council? Okay, um, MBEIC is comprised of all of the minority businesses certified by GMSDC. As you mentioned, we are the voice of the small businesses, and we represent that voice to the council, uh, to Stacy. So I work very closely with Stacy, and of course to the board, which is why I work very closely with Vanessa. But not only that, to the business community at large, we're constantly out representing the needs of minority businesses and sharing our challenges and, and getting information about other challenges and how we resolve those. Um, we represent more than 85,000 employees and billions of dollars in revenue. Uh, the businesses are very diverse. It can range anywhere from a small one-person sole proprietorship to a billion-dollar technology firm. And so we've been able to have a tremendous impact on the Georgia economy. Seems like an important facet of the council. It really is. <laughs> And Stacey, you're in your sixth year, that's correct, as I the am. president I am CEO. in the sixth year. It's been a phenomenal uh, time at GMSTC. Excellent. And I will tell you, when I took on this role at GMSTC, I saw it as an opportunity to really make a difference in the small business community. I'm a small business owner myself as well. And it was an opportunity for us to really help the Georgia economy to grow and to position minority businesses. I will tell you, 2013 was an exciting year for us. Uh, while the economy had some challenges, needless to say. The council is very strong. Uh, we're growing. Uh, applications for certification were up 14%. Really? We're increasing our corporate members. Uh, our churn, which is a measure to say uh, MBEs leaving the council, mm -hmm. is at its all-time low of 9%. So it's been a very exciting year for us. Uh, all, all measures, the council's in good hands with our, with our leadership at the MBIC, with our board chair, very solid hands and very solid footing for the council. And I understand in the midst of all of this, you've also had time to move the headquarters as well. Yeah, yeah. In our spare time, <laughs> yeah, you have so much in time. our spare time, we moved our, our, our headquarter location. We're in an exciting new <coughs> location in Midtown Atlanta. Very excited about, about it. A state-of-the-art facility. We're very close to our, many of our corporate members. We're close to the universities. Uh, we're in an AT&T facility. Uh, and again, very, very excited about uh, 2014 and being in this new space. I mean, it's, it's just phenomenal. It will allow us to do a lot of things in terms of serving our, our constituents and our stakeholders. Well, excellent. Thank you so much, Stacey. As we mentioned, we are live streaming this and we're getting questions in via social media. So I'm going to turn to our first question. Look on my phone here. Uh, I hear, and, and we'll, we'll go to Stacy for this wow. one, okay? First one for you. <laughs> First question, I like, wow, I like that. I hear different opinions out there about whether certification is worth it. What does it do for a small business that I couldn't do on my own? I will tell you certification is a game changer. It's a tool. Uh, it gives you an opportunity to, uh, by being certified, we help you make connections. We do a certification, we do develop, and we make a connection. And the developmental piece is helping you build capacity and capability, and the connection is connecting you with our corporate members and government entities. So 
certification is a toolkit. Mm -hmm. uh, it allows you uh, access to opportunities that you otherwise not, would not be ha have access to. And Sylvia, mm -hmm. is there anything you'd like to add to that? I would. A as an MBE myself, mm -hmm. the one thing I can say is there are events that are scheduled to put you in the room with people purchasing services. Mm -hmm. And without a certification, oftentimes as a small business, you don't have that opportunity. So you are face to face with buyers or people who can facilitate a purchase. And uh, that, there's no other way you can get that other than through a, uh, an organization like a GMSDC. So it really gives you the ability to be in the chair, so to speak. You are. You're in the chair and you're in front of the potential buyer. Excellent. The ability to play the game, to play. To play, to be in there, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, we have one more social media question. Um, I'm just starting out, and this one will go to Vanessa. Okay. I'm just starting out and want to explore corporate and government contracts. How can the GMSDC help me? Well, there are a number of tools that the GMSDC has. We have the GMSDC Academy, which is our training program. Uh, we're also partnered with many supplier diversity advocate organizations on the federal government side, the Small, Small Business Administration, uh, the Minority Business Development Agency, and we all work together to make sure that all of our constitu constituents have access to contracts and really learn how to uh, build their businesses together. Okay. Well, great. Thank you so much, Vanessa. So you are uh, the board chair. So from your perspective, what is the vision for 2014? Well, Rachel, my vision for the board, along with these ladies, is to continue to build the brand as the premier resource for supplier diversity and best practices. We want to make sure that our corporate partners, as well as our MBEs, maximize the benefits of their association mm -hmm. with the council. Our training programs are robust as ever. Uh, we set a record number of matchmaking events in 2013. And the performance measures by which we look at the success of the council continue to improve. The board will be focused on making sure that the council is financially stable and that we're meeting the goals that we set for 2014 and beyond. Excellent. And the fact that membership, you're seeing membership up too is a sign that all these programs Absolutely. are really working. Um, Sylvia, what can you tell us about the Business Development Center? Well, the BDC is, is exciting because mm -hmm. actually uh, when we started to talk about the BDC a couple of years ago, I was actually in one of the sample groups where we were asked as MBEs, you know, what would we like, what, what were our needs? And so this is an excellent example of the council reaching out to MBEs and getting our input. So we're excited about it. It's the, it's the first of its kind in this region, hmm. and it is going to be a resource. It's located uh, in the suite next door to the new um, GMSDC facility that we talked about in Midtown. And it's going to be an area where, as MBEs, we can go there and we have access to workstations. Okay. We have uh, training rooms. Um, there's technology available for us to collaborate, which is one of the things that we really, really talked about, mm -hmm. is an opportunity for us to get with each other and collaborate. We often learn from each other uh, opportunities. We, we learn about uh, experiences that others have had that help us get through our situation. So collaboration is really, really key. So we're excited about this, uh, this new BDC. It sounds like a great place to meet other leaders in the community. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And why, why Stacy, is such an emphasis on collaboration among MBEs? You know, you know Rachel, um, the, the game of the supplier diversity has changed. Mm -hmm. And our corporate members are asking for different things. And as a, as a byproduct of the recession, I will tell you, the corporations started consolidating, looking to do more with less, uh, looking to use less suppliers and making contracts larger. As mm -hmm. a result, you fast forward to 2014, the game has changed. Okay. And you've got to be innovative. You've got to work together in partnerships. You've got to collaborate so that together you can bring forth solutions to help meet our customers' needs. Uh, our global players like Coca-Cola, UPS, um, IBM are all looking for companies that can collaborate, work together, and provide solutions to satisfy their business need. It's all about return on investment. And you're talking a lot about this rapid change. I'm kind of curious, mm -hmm. how, Sylvia, are you, what are you hearing from the MBE community in terms of how they're reacting to this rapid change? Well, some of the things that they're saying that's changed 
is the fact that there are a limited number of opportunities. Mm -hmm. uh, those opportunities have recalibrated. Mm -hmm. Some are large, some are smaller. Um, so you're finding yourself in a situation where people who were probably previously your large competitors are now in your space and mm -hmm. they're you know, looking at the same opportunities that you're looking at. Uh, they're saying it's very competitive because it's a limited number, the competition is high, and, um, and so they're having to do different things to get prepared for that. All right, let's go back to some more of those social media questions because, uh, as you know, we're live streaming this event, so we are asking people to respond via Twitter on our Facebook page, hashtag GMSDC2014, the new year. So we'll go to another one of uh, the questions we got, uh, got in. And Stacy, this one will be for, okay. ye for you. Okay. All right, you ready? Yes. How long does it take for a small business to certify? Okay. It roughly takes anywhere from 30 to 60 days, depending on where you come into the cycle. The process is completely automated. You can take, do it online and submit your information. Mm -hmm. uh, we also host a pre-certification briefing every month to assist business owners in, that are interested in being certified. So we walk you through the complete process. We tell you exactly what you need. We make it easy as possible. So again, it's, it's a very simple process in terms of being certified, gathering all the data and then moving right through the process. And you mentioned too, you can submit online as well. Yeah, absolutely, it's submitted all online. Great, thank you so much. And Stacey, you also mentioned earlier that GMSDC's mentor prodigy connection. How, how does that help small businesses okay. compete? All right, we're very proud of our mentor protege connection, which is a program that we took on several years ago in partnership with the state of Georgia and with uh, Georgia Tech. Uh, it's a program that allows minority businesses and small business owners to focus on building capacity, capability, and skills. Mm -hmm. And so you're partnered with a corporation, and then they focus on areas to help you, that you, that you together you identify, that help you grow your business. It's, it's phenomenal. Hmm. It's, again, it was the first of its kind uh, in the country when developed 10 years ago by then Governor uh, Roy Barnes. And the program has just excelled. We've got a very dynamic leader, Veronica Maldonado, who is heading up that program, who just, just infuses a lot of energy and creativity to the whole program. I will tell you, the feedback it is uh, that I hear from business owners that are part of the program is they're thanking us. Uh, they're glad that this program is available. And Vanessa, I believe Vanessa is one of the found out, uh, founding members, Lockheed Martins, one of the founding members of the program. Absolutely. We use the Mentor Protege program as yeah. a tool to help develop businesses. You get to really take a look inside mm -hmm. their business and do a needs assessment and help them understand some of the things they need to do to fill those gaps then they can also help grow, they, that will help them grow as you grow uh, with them on contracts together. Yeah, that would be my next question about mm -hmm. this. Makes sense how it helps the prodigy, but how about the prodigy firm? What benefit does it give them? Well, in terms of the, the protege firm, mm -hmm. uh, such as uh, any, any, any small business that's a part of the program, they're getting access to knowledge, they're getting the whole suite, the whole company, uh, and Vanessa can attest to this, they're bringing all the resources to, of, of any particular company to bear to help this small business owner be successful. There's nowhere else that you get that training, that knowledge, that experience in helping you grow your business. So it's invaluable. Great, excellent. So Vanessa, what else is GMSDC up to in 2014? Well, our theme, ladies together, <laughs> Innovate, Innovate, ignite, ignite and, and transform. transform. Did you rehearse that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's not just for our constituents. The GMSDC must innovate as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We're looking at our programs across the board as to how we can innovate those. Uh, this broadcast today is a perfect example. Instead of holding our normal annual meeting in January, we thought we'd use this broadcast as a forum to reach a wider audience. And we're going to continue to use technology Absolutely. where it makes sense to add value to our stakeholders. In what other ways do you think you're gonna be able to use some technology? Well, I mentioned earlier that we set a record number of matchmaking events in mm -hmm. 2013. Many of those events were virtual events. Absolutely. And we can do that where it makes sense when it, and when it's done properly. Mm -hmm. It's really an effective tool making business transactions easier and convenient for our buyers and our suppliers mm -hmm. is one of the ways that we 
add value. And that is just one facet uh, that we'll use to continue this journey of innovation. And let me ask, just, just quickly add to that, one of the, a couple of the things that we've got planned, uh, GMSDC TV, GMSDC radio. So we've got other things that are coming down the pike in terms of allowing us to uh, work throughout the state of Georgia mm -hmm. and becoming that true premium resource uh, t throughout the whole state. So we're really excited about some of the other initiatives that are planned and some of the partnerships that we're establishing as well. Sounds like you're really using technology to get results for some of your membership, yes, which is great. Absolutely. So, Sylvia, so what else are you doing to get your MBEs involved? Well, we have a number of signature events all during the year um, by GMSDC. Um, I think we've already mentioned the training that comes mm -hmm. through the GMSDC Academy. Uh, also in the spring, we have the Business Opportunity Expo and Conference. It's a huge <coughs> conference uh, attended by people all over the country. Um, and then, of course, in the fall, another signature event is our Spirit of Alliance Award. Okay. And it awards small businesses, which oftentimes, as, as a small business owner, you don't get the opportunity to get awards. So it's, it's, <laughs> it's exciting for us oftentimes. But in all of those events, small bi businesses are involved from the beginning to the end, from the planning through the production of the event. So oftentimes, you get a chance to see uh, the value of MBEs right in front of you. Today is an excellent example. Uh, this program is brought mm -hmm. to you in part by many MBEs that Stacy mentioned mm -hmm. in the beginning, and it's an excellent display and opportunity for the MBE. So we're, we're intricately involved in all of the programming within uh, GMSDC. Did you mention there the Mar March 4th event? No, but the Mar March 4th event is, is exciting. Um, we have the ribbon cutting for the BDC that we talked about, the Business Opportunity, uh, excuse me, the uh, Business Development Center, so that's a big deal. And we also have the open house for the new GMSDC location. Uh -huh. The BDC is right next door. Uh -huh. um, we've moved, but often people don't know that we've moved, and this is an opportunity for folks to come by and see the new GMSDC place and also see the BDC for the MBEs. So we're asking people to come out and join us. It's gonna be an exciting time, good opportunity to meet other MBEs, great opportunity to meet potential buyers because there will Absolutely. be corporate members there. So good networking opportunity Great as well. Networking Working opportunity. Lots of members. And, and I have one guess that the theme may be innovation. Would I be correct? And transform. You guys are going to start <laughs> singing that pretty soon. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what? That's, a, that's an idea. Maybe a oh, jingle. Uh, a that's jingle. Not part we can of have a jingle. No, 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 no. I'm going to have to put that <laughs> A jingle. I think that would be creative. But Rachel, you are right on target <laughs> about our theme of innovation for that day. We're bringing in speakers and planning interactive activities right. that revolve around innovation, how to incorporate it to make your business grow and incorporate it into your day-to-day -day culture. It's gonna be an exciting event. As a matter of fact, we're calling it a circle of innovation right. and we can't wait until everyone is there to participate in this great event. Excellent. March 4th on your website, right? You have right. all the information. March, all the information is there. Exactly. Okay, excellent. Well, thanks so much. If you're joining us uh, live, we're streaming. And right now, I want to get to our special Verizon giveaway question. If you're not already logged on, go ahead and do so. You can head to GMS DC, our Facebook page, and post your answer to the question. The winner will get a uh, phone. All right, here's the question here. In the spirit of innovation, what is one thing you would suggest to the council that would have the most impact on growing the business in 2014? New programs, changes to existing ones, no idea is off limits. What is your best suggestion? We want to hear from you for helping the GMSDCs to be the premier resource for, the Georgia's, for Georgia's business community. Again, just post your answer on the Facebook page, GMSDC. Of course, you can also tweet us because we are live tweeting right now. Uh, hashtag GMSDC2014. We have a team out here monitoring those tweets. So if you post a good answer there, we'll be sure to monitor it, though. I may say, I must say, though, this has been very impressive hearing all that you do for our community every day. I, ha I will be honest, I had no idea kind of the scope of it all. Sylvia, any last or final thoughts? 
Well, first, I'd like to thank you, Rachel, for hosting this broadcast. This is the first of its kind, and we're excited that you were able to be a part of that. Uh, again, I'd like to reiterate our commitment and, and uh, appreciation for Cox Family of Companies. They have been with us from the start, and they continue to support both the council and MBEs. And uh, to small businesses, I'd just like to say, get involved. Uh, if you are a certified small business, we ask you to go to gmsdc.org and click on MBEIC and uh, get in touch with someone with the MBEIC leadership. If you're not certified, go to gmsdc.org <laughs> and click get on certified. certified and get certified. The mm -hmm. staff there is wonderful. They will step you through the process to becoming certified. Once you're certified, we would we'll be glad to get you involved in all the activities mm -hmm. with MBEIC. This could be a breakout opportunity for your company because we're doing lots of things in 2014. So get started. Well, thank you, Sylvia, and thank so much for having me here. I've really enjoyed it. Vanessa, any parting thoughts from your end? Well, Rachel, I'm super excited about the possibilities in 2014. As the economy comes around, there will be many new opportunities out there for all of us to participate in. We're looking to bring all of our MBEs to the forefront mm -hmm. in those opportunities. Um, as we look back on four decades of history for the GMSDC, it's been a great run. We have hosted the national conference. We have been selected as Council of the Year, and many of our MBEs have been named Supplier of the Year mm -hmm. on a national scale. But we cannot rest on what we've done in the past. The next decade will present new challenges, and we must be innovative in our approach to those. Georgia has been named the number one state for doing business and mm. a prime location for entrepreneurs and minority business. We want you to leverage the GMSDC for all that it has to offer in pursuing those opportunities. Excellent. It's about creating, innovating, and growing, it sounds yes. like, is a theme. Exactly. All right. We do have time for one more social media question, and I just heard it buzz on my cell phone. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go to one of you panelists. Hold on one second. Let me get to it here. Okay. This one is for Sylvia. Okay. You're on the hot seat here. Okay. What are some of the opportunities available for MBEs to help and support GMS DC and therefore help ourselves? Okay. There's, uh, as I mentioned earlier in the broadcast, there's tailored training. Uh, for MBEs. Uh, there's lots of information out there and oftentimes mm -hmm. as a small business you may or may not have access to that. So there's training uh, programs available. There's also networking events where you can learn from other MBEs who have gone through similar situations. There's the Mentor Protege program which is very hard to find uh, mm -hmm. anyone that, that has that kind of program out there. So that's definitely something you want to get involved to do. Um, lots of collaboration. Uh, we work in teams, so there's opportunities to partner. We had a program last year called the Consortium, where different companies got together and pursued uh, opportunities together. You can be a part of that. We will be continuing with that in 2014. So as you can see, there's just an array of ways that a business can get involved and grow. And let's just adding to what Sylvia has said. I was going to give you the <laughs> final word. <laughs> <laughs> but just adding to what Sylvia said, uh, we also have committees within GMSDC that have an opportunity for MBEs to get involved with. Mm -hmm. We've got our education committee. Uh, we've got committees that work on our various events. We want to ensure that we've got the input and we have MBEs involved in every single thing we do. So there's an opportunity to get involved in the various committees as we plan events, as we engage uh, and go out into the community. With some of our partners, uh, we're working very uh, in partnership with organizations like TAG, Technology mm -hmm. Association of Georgia, working with the Georgia Chamber. We're working with SBA. So we want MBEs involved and infused in every part of the organization, and they can do that by volunteering to be a part of some of these committees. Mm -hmm. So there's an opportunity there as well. Excellent. And, and I did want to give you the final word. <laughs> <laughs> the final word, I, I, I think <laughs> they said did, it, didn't I they? I know, yeah. I think they've done a, a great job in saying it all. And I will tell you, thank you again, Rachel, for yeah, being here. Uh, it has been a joy to have you. Uh, we look forward to maybe you joining us on March the 4th. <laughs> Hoping you can join us. But I will tell you, 
the staff and I are, are, are ready to work in partnership with the new leadership uh, to develop programs and initiatives to ensure our business owners win. Our goal is to make sure all the business owners of Georgia are successful and all the business owners that are part of GMSDC are extremely successful. And so we will do everything in our power to ensure we have the resources and the skills and the available to assist them. So uh, oh, again, I want to invite everyone for March 4th. You don't want to miss the ribbon cutting, our offices, the BDC. It will be an exciting time. And so uh, again, we look forward to 2014. Innovate, ignite, and transform is the theme of the day. And great, a great theme as it is. It sounds like a marvelous event on March 4th. I just wanted to thank everybody for joining us as we stream this live. Something new we tried and we've really enjoyed it. Hearing from all of you on social media, it was a pleasure to be here. If you have any questions or you want to learn more about anything that you heard about throughout this panel, just head to gmsdc.org. There you can see a link to all sorts of things. Thanks again, and hopefully we will see you all in March.